preventing crime in the capital city. Tonight, Sacramento police ramping up patrols in a response to a surge of gun violence. For the past two months, there's been a shooting nearly every weekend. Six people are dead in 13 shootings just this week. And as the city kicks off this Friday night, there is concern there could be more violence this holiday weekend. Thanks for joining us here at 10 o'clock. I'm Curtis Ming. And I'm Marley Ginter. We want to begin with CBS 13's Madison Keevy joining us live in Sacramento with the police department's plan to crack down on crime, Madison. Yeah, Marley, we've seen amped up police presence in, in downtown Sacramento here, especially on K Street, where there's already lines out the door for many of the bars and restaurants here. It's all part of a plan to be proactive by SAC PD at a time when they're already short on resources. The 13th shooting investigation in seven days. This one on Wednesday night at Valley High Community Park in South Sacramento. It makes me sad and angry that it's just some random person out here just doing stuff like this. By Friday, the deadly shooting hasn't been forgotten by neighbors who now question. Are we in a good safe area? A memorial for one of six people killed in shootings this week. A sign for Sacramentans that the city's police force adding more patrols for the weekend is the right move. If there's more patrols and stuff like police people to help our community and stuff like that, I think I would feel a lot more safer. Out on a walk with her daughter, this South Sacramento woman told CBS 13 she doesn't go out when it's dark anymore, at least not lately. Last weekend, a house party turned deadly. Stats from the Gun Violence Archive show about 40%, or just under two dozen shootings that end in injuries or deaths, happened on weekends in the city. It's nerve-wracking to hear that, you know, we have to send so many cops out because it's not the same anymore. Yeah, so since May, there have only been two weekends so far that have been free of any kind of gun violence, and that's just shootings. When we look at other incidents, like that fatal crash on San Juan Road that killed three and injured eight others, those are also incidents that SAC PD responds to and that deplete resources. So amping it up for the holiday weekend is one way, again, they're trying to stay ahead of anything that comes their way, shooting or not. Yeah, let's hope we see a difference in it then. Madison, thank you for that live report.